What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to a new series here on the Blue Screener channel. We're going to be bringing back the Wheel of Achievements for EU4. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel and see where I'm going to be spending my day playing as. Please, please, no three island, three mountains. What is this? Checks and balances. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up. I had this. I have my E4 achievements pulled up. Checks and balances. Starting as Bohemia, I grant at least two privileges to each estate while having at least 50% crown land. That should actually be pretty easy. Plus, we can do the Bohemian mission tree, which I absolutely love. I think we'll do a Hussite Bohemia uh, playthrough then. I actually... It's been a while since I played Bohemia, and we do like the Hussite. So let me go and get the game launched, and I'll be back when we load into Bohemia. All right, we have loaded into Bohemia here. Let's kind of go over our starting situation. As you probably well know, Bohemia is one of the electorates in the HRE, and currently we vote for Austria. We're going to change that and vote for Burgundy. Uh, the reason being, uh, we're trying to get Burgundy on our side because we want to get a chance at Burgundy inheritance. So we've already royal marriage them, and we're also trying to make friends with the Turks over here because they don't like our friend. Well, not our friend. They don't like the Austrians. And our mission tree has an early goal that involves humiliating Austria, uh, which we might do. Because we have just ended up rivaling them. Our early game rivals that have gone for are going to be Hungary, Austria, and uh, Poland. Because we have missions to fight all of them. So the three big nations that we border are all going to be our enemies, which might be a bit of a problem for us in some ways. But hopefully if we get the Ottoman Alliance, we'll be fine. And then if we get Burgundy and a royal marriage, we're we'll going to be doing perfectly. Now, uh, we start off with 17 troops. Austria only has 18. I'm hoping to get to do an early Humiliate War and just kind of beat them with skill, um, which could be a thing. I did end up doing our estates early on here. So we have the uh, bonus monarch points for the clergy, and we th we're doing monopolies to get us some early funds, and also because I like having my mercantilism mer up. I think we're going to take this game a little bit far fa uh, farther than we would uh, with just checks and balances here. Uh, it just means I need more uh crown land that's really easy to do there might be some other achievements here uh that you can do as bohemia we will see i, I haven't played bohemia in a while and they have a really cool mission tree so maybe we do yeah, own dublin as core problem we'll knock out some other bohemian achievements uh while i'm here and then we'll see what we can we can do here because I, I like playing bohemia and we are going to go Hussite. Hussite's fun so we're going to do it uh, without further ado let's go ahead and unpause here i'm going to go speed four just for the start and we're going to get this alliance as soon as possible, 12th of December. And we want to really have... Okay, we want to do the peaceful re reconciliation with the Hussites. Let's get our army over here ready. I need to actually train more men here. Um, let's get three more military... Or infantry. And then we'll get a second unit of three to do some sieging. It's going to be expensive. That's fine. We should hope these guys don't pick up any big allies here. Baden Ferreira. That's fine. I don't worry about any of those guys. I can fight them. 12th of December for our alliance, and then a little bit more. Okay, now we have Hungary as an ally, so that's going to be prohibitive in our war against Austria. So we can't do an early humiliate against Austria. That knocks out this peace deal here. Okay, so we either have to humiliate them, or can we attack one of their friends? Actually, they're the Emperor, so they'll just be able to call everybody in. So that's not going to be a thing. Okay, looks like we'll go for the other route. Maybe we just chill out until we get our... Um, What the hell? Oh, we have elective monarchy. Uh, do the 534. Yeah, 534 is going to be good for us. We should most have the Hussite events. So we're going to hold off on attacking Austria because they got the Hungarian alliance really fast here. Plus they have Aragon. A uh, little bit too much for us to take on at the start of the game. Instead, we're just going to get Burgundy as an ally. And then we're going to hopefully get our royal marriage with them so figured out. And that's going to change again once we get John Huss. But we're also going to play, try to make a play for the Ottomans. Get them on our side. And then maybe in the, the meantime, we're going to improve with some of our other guys. Maybe try to snag Venice as an ally, which would be really good here. Oh, you hate... Oh, damn it. Okay. Anyways, I'll be right back once I have an update or we have our Huss site event, which will probably be what the update is. So, be back soon. We just got asked to support the independence of Sweden, um, which I'm actually fine with. I think I will try to support their independence. Why not? Uh, it'll be a good ally to have up here. We can use them against Poland and Lithuania whenever we get a chance to. And it's Sweden, right? So we'll be on the same side as people we don't like. But I want Sweden. I like Sweden. They're good people. 
I've been to Sweden. Sweden's nice. So we're going to support their independence. Still waiting. We should probably, like, the meantime to happen for the uh, Hus Light event is like 16 months or something. Uh, so we're still waiting for that to fire. Other than that, we're training up our troops and trying not to take attrition, it seems. So, uh, just business as usual. Building up our economy. Well, not, being, not even building up our economy. We're just kind of waiting. I've decided to focus military because uh, I want to do some early wars. Uh, might be a problem with that unless I can get the Ottomans involved because we have the Conqueror Nitra stuff here and Polo Diplomacy so we'll have to get the Ottomans to be our friends hopefully can I get, make myself friendly with them I can't okay maybe we'll, maybe we'll get them we're going to try to do some unholy alliance between us and the Ottomans since they also don't like our uh, our other Catholics here but we're still waiting I know we'll see whenever the Hussite event fires all right, it's the year 1447, and we finally have our Hussite Resurgence event. We also just got an alliance with the Ottomans, so we can now use them eventually against Hungary and Austria. So we'll hang on to that for now. Uh, but let's see, which ones are they? So, current rule dies, current heir is removed. Hussite becomes a new state religion. This will also apply to our ruler of possible heirs. Okay, first off here, let me go ahead and get an alliance with Milan. We're trying to get them to uh, be flipped to us. So uh, we need to have high prestige and legitimacy to do that. Uh, higher than them, so which is why we need to get more here. So, um, what are the options here? So there's people influence. Uh, you get Hussite ruler. Or we just become... Well, we're going to become Hussite, right? So we're going to get... John Huss knew the tru truth. We'll get a 5-4-3. And we become Hussite. We have a 334 heir to the throne. Not terrible. This guy is actually a zealot, which is pretty good for us. Uh, election of a new ruler. Current heir will die. Uh, we'll just keep Jiri. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to... Compare everything to sites. We'll just assign our guys here. Actually, let's be smart and do this by unity. That way we can get our unity up faster. We can complete our mission. We get missionary maintenance cost. We will do it. And we need to go and make sure we get our royal marriages to everybody again here. So let's go ahead and snag that with everybody. Now we got three days due. Uh, you actually should live pretty pretty long here. So we're going to get it with... Uh, well, actually, we have time. Get it with Burgundy. 112, that's kind of terrible. Uh, these guys, we already accepted theirs. Let's get it with Milan. We're really hoping that Maria will die. So, Noble from Alice, spot or bad. We also want to, if they become... The thing is, if Milan becomes um, a re republic, right? Normally you get a Restoration of Union claim on them, which we're kind of hoping for. And in that case, you really don't want to have the alliance with them. If you have the alliance, then you have to break the alliance, wait the five years. It could be, it could be a whole thing. So, I'm debating whether or not I want to break the alliance here and now and get things moving with them. So we have religious diplomats. Uh, that's not really going to help us. We have no one else of our faith here. Don't want to do anything else while I'm available. Or we just wait and let our stuff convert here. I think we just convert. Uh, we're getting current favors with the Ottomans. That should be fine. Waiting for these guys to get old, which will take quite some time. And then I need Milan to have something happen here. We'll see. Maybe we break the alliance. Poland declared war. Okay, let's break, let's just break the alliance. We'll see. If they ditch our royal marriage, that's fine. I can just improve relations with them and make that not be a problem. So let's go ahead and pull back from Opoly. Actually, can I just convert these guys? Let's convert them to our, our religion real quick. That way they like me more. Yeah. Convert to my religion. That'll make it to where you no longer have that modifier for bordering heretic, right? Yeah, 81 now with you. Okay. We're going to go back. We're going to go ahead and improve with Milan, and we're going to try to basically break our alliance with them um, eventually. But for now, we're just still just waiting, building up, uh, working towards that 10-year mark when I can annex my subjects and get our first mission done. Don't want to take too much unrest because if we do our mission tree, there's going to be a lot of fighting. Um, and we want to keep as, keep as much AE in a, keep our AE in a manageable realm before we do any of that stuff. So, still just waiting, but I'll bring you guys back once I have an update. Alright, so we have now 
integrated our subjects here, and we've completed the mission Integrate Silesia, which gives us improved relations and claims on Hungary. Hungary, by the way, which has no alliance with Austria. They just have Denmark. And they have 22 troops. They are only Tech 3. We are Tech 5. Uh, I think Hungary is not long for this world. We have a very, very good general that we got from a mission, or from an event, I should say. And so we're going to go and kill Hungary. They need to go and become part of our great nation. I don't even have to use the Ottomans for it. I can't use the Ottomans for it because the Ottomans are in terrible, terrible debt. Uh, 736 ducats. They're doing fine. They're just doing constant warring and they haven't actually killed Byzantium yet. Uh, so weird plays over there by the Ottomans, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, Charles over here is 24. Milan has got an heir, so we are not going to have any claims on Milan just yet. We still have the royal marriage and we'll keep it around um, for a little bit. We don't need the extra relationships a lot. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but we do have some excess. I don't think... Did we lose... Did Strong Duchies go away? Oh, there they go. There goes Strong Duchies and the other one because we don't have subjects anymore. So they are gone now. Um, can I do anything else instead? I can do any more Monopolies or stuff. I guess not. Um, let's go ahead and get ready for our war here. We'll wait a month. You have a total of 21 troops. You have 4 troops and you have 10 troops. Um, so I might have to be careful here, but I'm hoping, uh, beyond all hope, that they can't actually get to us somehow. Yeah, so we will just declare for this. Uh, I want to take all of those. Denmark will get called in. They have five reasons. They're in a ton of debt. It's only Norway. They can't really get to me. We're going to declare. We shall declare. And then maybe we call Sweden in if Sweden loses some of their debt here. What do we want to take as our war goal? Uh, Trenton is a fort. We will take that and go and get it sieged right away. It's a mountain fort. It's going to be a little bit tough to take, but uh, hopefully we can do something with our two siege general, who is a 5-5-6 five, five, here. Uh, we'll take the one stab. Always think long term here. And we're just going to do our siege. We're going to hopefully be able to take this stuff pretty peacefully. We're going to lose some manpower, uh, but we should be able to clean these guys up, and I'll do my jump cuts to make the war go a little bit faster, because we are trying to get through 50 years here per episode. Um, it worked pretty well for the knights. We're going to try to do it here. What the hell are you doing, Ottomans? Really? At Kiyunlu? They're going crazy. They're going crazy. Okay, we'll let that progress. They've lost their capital, so we'll see how that works out, but shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. The weaker they are, the better. Now that we have Hungary and, and Austria broken up, we don't really need to care too much. Might want to use them against Poland, but that's about it. So, we shall see. Alright, we've just taken our war goal here, and we need to take a fight. I'm thinking we'll do... Let's see, 1-3-2 versus 2-2-1. Two, two, I think right now, Shock, of course, is king. Uh, we won't get the cross penalty because we have a 6-star in our maneuverability here. Bam, bam, bam. They should fall. That's a stack wipe. Let's go and get this other fight. That's a mountain fort that is now going to be our mountain fort. Uh, we will shift consolidate. That way we have a full front line. Take the defense in the mountains. And that should be another stack wipe. Bam, bam, bam. Shadow Kingdom is happening. Um, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, no. You must reign in Italy. Anyway, we're going to march right on to Pest. This should be easy. We're going to take all the claims here and then punch them for money because we have some loans that need to be handled. Uh, there's Denmark up in our lands, actually. I'm fine. We might go and deal with Denmark, get them out. We now have the war goal. It's Mountain Fort, um, so we are going to get taking war score. And now if I can just follow these guys over to their lands, we can cause some problems for them. So uh, let's hopefully be able to chase these guys down. That's not who I wanted to fight. Or take a quick stack wipe. How about Brandenburg for a little bit? They uh, are... Well, they were at risk of becoming a subject under Poland, so happy to see that's gone. We're trying to get Brunswick a royal marriage with them because they are 16 8 years old without an heir. So if we can get one, uh, get a royal marriage, we can maybe finesse something out there. Okay, there goes them. I need to go and put pressure on some of their provinces to actually get something out of this. All right, this should be an easy fight for us. Wipe them out. There's Catholic Zealots. That's not how to convert a province. Go kill the Zealots. If I don't take money, can I just... No, still, might as well just sit in it. Okay, it's going to take us a little bit. We're lost about 8,000 troops from our total manpower limit. 
I thought I'd give a quick war check in. We have most of Hungary sieged. Uh, we have some annoying uh, people sieging our, our lands over here. Uh, but we have all their forts. I could kick back the amount of money we take from them and I think get out of this war. Is it worth it? Let's see. How much can we get? 200 from them is not too bad. Let's just do it. We gotta get our truce lower. Um, and that means we'll be back fo quicker in order to do our um, PU war, which we now get access to by taking all of Nitra. And then after we get Hungary, permanent claims on Hungary and can actually take on Austria. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we'll get all that stuff. Uh, need to core all these lands here. I am doing a Diplo or an Admin, I guess. That's going to be a little buff. Well, we use our army to uh, deal with the rebels. That should be fine. We can go and get our seized land. Uh, if I did that three more times, I'd get the mission done for checks and balances. But I want to actually get the uh, Monthly Monarch power just because I think I'm going to do this longer than the actual achievement goes. Because I like Bohemia and I haven't played Bohemia in a little bit, so we're going to play Bohemia. But uh, that's all good. Hungary's fallen. Uh, we have low, low manpower. We could attack Poland. They are a little scary. And we don't have some other peeps that I would like involved, involved just yet. Uh, Brunswick has still not died. They are age 70. So I think we're going to wait for them. We're going to core our stuff, and we're going to build up our manpower reserves, and then it's going to be either back to Hungary, or we attack Poland once the Ottomans are dealing with whatever problems they currently have, i.e. being 736 seconds in debt, and having not yet killed Byzantium or Athens, which is independent now. Um, why is Byzantium alive? They're out of Serbia. They should die. Weird Ottomans being strange over there. But that's not my problem, at least not yet. Uh, when I use them against Poland, we're probably going to be done with them, so... Uh, for now, we'll just let them go slow. That'll help us in the future, so it's not a huge detriment. But, yeah, we're progressing. Still got uh, 38 years before we hit uh, 1500. And we're doing strong now with this war. We've made our opening move. We are starting to chug. So, just a little bit more, and we can get our first PU. Some time has passed, and we can now click this button here to get ourselves a Hussite Center of Faith. We have converted all of normal Bohemia, Silesia, and Opoli. And uh, now it's just... The Hungarian lands to convert, but we can get ourselves a center of reformation. I probably should have prioritized that faster. Um, it would have been more useful to have that for... Uh, just have it around early on, because you can convert some nations and things, and that would also help us break up the uh, stuff going on over here. Ottomans still broke. Uh, they're fighting the Mamluks now, so we can't really use them for anything, which is typical Ottoman behavior, if you ask me. Might go for Muscovy as an ally. I actually really do like that. Did Brunswick ever find? Brunswick still does not have an heir. Uh, I kind of, I'm just going to maybe go for this alliance right now. Who else do I have up here? Sweden, Ottomans. I'm going to get the alliance with Muscovy. Um, we start building favors with them. I don't care about the, the loss in Diplo rep a little bit. Like, it's going to, it's going to hurt. Um, but I'd rather sit here because I have a feeling we're going to lose some uh, access to stuff. We're going to lose alliance with Sweden. Uh, so there are other Poland. Can I do anything with you while you're here? We have just... We almost have enough favors. If I just improve with you... I want them to break that alliance. And here's the thing, is that we are so close to the required favors for them to have that. Let's improve with them just for a little bit. All right? if I can keep them around for just, just a little, little, little bit of time. Not too long. If I keep them around, I can use that break alliance to get Poland weaker, and then maybe I can get a chance to attack Poland when they only have Brandenburg and Silly on their side. Because if Ottomans get out of this war, sky's the limit for us, I think. So let's see. Right now you're at 49 favors. Two months to get to the next level. Uh, we'll just get the tax benefits here. Damn it, they broke the alliance. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Muscovy can deal with Sweden. I can deal with probably Brandenburg, and the Ottomans can probably deal with Poland, Lithuania. So we should still be fine. We want we want uh, Muscovy long term. My goal here to them is to get them under our, us in a PU. So we're going to go and get our relations improved. They're 27 with a 12 year old heir. We can uh, maybe swing them later on in the game. We also get a government reform. I want to go for which one is it? There's one that gives you bonus diplomatic relations. Yes. That's good. We still have Sweden as a royal marriage target. Could I get them? They like us. I'm going to still keep improving with them. Maybe we can get them back and I can still use those favors. 
Uh, but I want to try to get favors for trust. Oh, we need 50 opinion of them. Damn, I am paying them. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'm hoping Brandenburg doesn't die over here. They're fighting, uh, or Burgundy. Burgundy is fighting, um, Egypt, not Egypt, France. Because <laughs> France attacked Brittany over here. So that's going to cause us some problems. Hopefully they're not co-belligerented and they don't lose everything here. But even though we have the Burgundian inheritance, they do lose provinces anyway. So that's not terrible. Uh, England's eating up Scotland. We're still waiting. Oh, looks like they got somebody here. Really? A zero-year-old whenever that he's 75? That's so unlucky for me. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, that's fine. Uh, Portugal is also... I'll go to Trats tomorrow if he dies. And uh, they're too young to really care about it. So no worries there. We're still waiting for our truce with uh, Hungary over here, who I think expires in 74. Yeah, 74. So we're just going to kind of wait till that happens. And we can do our other war. They have an alliance with France now, which is wonderful. So just waiting. Hopefully the Ottomans can stop dealing with all this garbage over here and we can uh, call them in against Poland and really start getting the ball rolling for us. But for now, just slow expansion. I just realized that I did not have my audio recording of this window. I was recording my Chrome from when I spun the wheel. That's a bad feeling. Uh, so, part, apologies for the audio problems for the first half of this video. Uh, Sean dumb. Big dumb Sean. Uh, yeah, that feels bad. It's a Sunday morning and I just made a mistake to right to start the day, so... Whatever. Uh, we'll still roll with it. I just wanted to... Push out that I mentioned that before uh, I noticed that before we can finish the first episode. Oops. Might be, but uh, it happens. Anyways, we're still chugging along. Nothing's really changed. Um, getting more and more concerned about this war over here as the months progress but whatever happens happens we can't affect it and if we get the the event we have not had any of the royal marriage roles come in our favor yet which is unfortunate but whatever there's still time to play and uh considering like what, what i'm curious now what achievements can we do besides this one um as we could dismantle the hre don't think i want to do that I'm not doing a world conquest. We could do Voltaire's Nightmare. We can try to do Voltaire's Nightmare. That'd be a good one. Um, like company anyone can do. Take over Japan. Not pirate. Own Dublin is going to be one we're going to try for. Lip. Maybe we just do the own Dublin. We'll see. Dismantle the HRE. Own a thousand provinces. Spy networks and rivals. We can do the this one. Maybe. Uh, Rebel Faction, India, Roman Empire, Persia, Mr. Tree. I could maybe become Nitro of Moravia. Yeah, there's some stuff in here. Check and balance will be pretty easy to get, but we'll probably keep playing along until we can get Dublin as Bohemia. So, uh, yeah, I noticed the auto issues. They should be fixed now. Apologies, but uh, it happens. All right, I think it's time to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to pull back our Ottoman agent here. Um, I just want to check real quick and see how much reasons they have to attack Poland. Uh, we're going to look to attack them. Muscovy would get involved. Sweden wouldn't get involved. Ottomans are 17 reasons away because of their debt and manpower. I'm just going to march my troops up here to the line with Brandenburg. We have one year until our truce with uh, Hungary goes away. Uh, but I don't want to deal with them right now. I also want to start actually improving relations with Poland as well as Lithuania. Uh, the reason here being is that if we get them in this war, I want them to be in a spot where I can keep them assuming our ruler dies. Because if they have negative opinion with us and our 49-year-old ruler dies, we lose them in the PU. And that is going to be tragic. I also put on a hoodie. It's cold. So that's why my clothes changed. Um, but hopefully we can get them involved here. So we have 25 years for that. Um, if I do this, 17 reasons. Okay, let's, let's let's just go get hypothetical. Let's say I was to use our ask pair for war. Um, this. So 10 favors. They should not be prepared for war. That gives them some reasons. And you immediately did another war against Novgorod. So now we have to wait. That war shouldn't take too long. We're going to wait out that war. I can just keep the Ottomans out of war eternally. Um, I shouldn't need both of them, though, to handle this. 
But we're making a ton of money. We're making eight ducats a month. We're going to kind of wait for this war. This war should be fast. No one else is involved in this. Actually, Sweden's involved in this. Oh. Well. Do I care? No, I don't. Because I can do this. Uh, we're going to go for the Polish diplomacy. Give me my PU. PU should be available. Call on Ottomans. Call on Muscovy. Sweden will not get involved. Brandenburg will. Take capital Warsaw. Declare. That has been declared. People are going to not like us. Uh, we lost our really good general. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to try to get Brandenburg out of this pretty fast. We need to go speed four. Who else can get involved? Burgundy would get involved. I don't see why not. Come on. Get in here, Burgundy. We're going to keep you around. Uh, we have 90 favors with them, and their dude is 49, with their heir being 42, 39, with their heir being 42. So we might have the Burgundy inherited soon. want to make sure we keep Burgundy basically super improved here. Looks like they're also fighting Poland in this, or not Poland, Denmark in a separate war. Uh, we were giving knowledge sharing to Lithuania. They terminated it because we're at war, among other things. So that's the thing. Um, but hopefully we can do the minimum that we are asked for here and still win this out here. We don't have control over this region. Might be good to build a fort here soon. But hopefully we can knock out... Honestly, could probably wipe peace out Brandenburg. Let's see, what's our mission tree? What do I want to do for this? So we need to humiliate Austria to get a play on them. Own all of these provinces. By us or a subject. You get permit claims on Stolp of this region. And military power. You take all of Pomerania, you get admin points. And if you do this, you get diplomatic annexation costs. So that's all secondary. We can get Hungarian Union this way. It looks like we need to start angling towards fighting Austria, which shouldn't be hard once we have Poland and Lithuania and everything that they come with on our side here. So, um,. How much troops? You got 26, you got 31, Ottomans are already marching. We're just going to kind of play around the Ottoman angle and wait things out and just kind of see how we can uh, sneak some land while they're distracted fighting the Ottomans. Quick war update. I've knocked out Silly. We are going to force them into our religion and also take their trade and their money. Uh, let's pull back our with the Ottomans. You can see we're start sieging pretty rapidly. Uh, all of our, our friends are getting involved. We are on their capital right now, which is the war goal. So that will become all of ours. Uh, we can't convert Brandenburg. They are too big. So instead, we are going to just take their money um, and other things. And I'm trying to get as much contribu contribution as possible because I do want the money from this. It'd be really good for us. Let's call the diet. Um, we'll just go for the improved. Actually, the counting house in Praha uh, will be really good for us. So we'll build that because bonus production when you have cloth. Good things. All of that. Um, but this should be pretty fine. I'm looking over here. There is a war between France and Austria. Uh, they're defending uh, Provence, who joined the Empire. Actually, I don't think they joined the Empire. They are just royal marriaged. Unless you're part of the Empire. Let's see. Are you part of the Empire? Yeah, they joined the Empire. Provence joined the Empire, so that's good for us. Uh, they are going to be defending against France. And so what we can do is maybe sneak out Hungary if France gets a little bit more in debt and has a little bit more war exhaustion and some manpower problems. Uh, we can sneak out a second and get all of our things back to back to back here. So what I'm going to do in preparation for that is I'm going to start improving with Hungary. Uh, th those improved relations will... You can't improve while you're at war, which is why we can't improve with these guys that we're going to take soon. Uh, but we can pre-approve, um, if that's even a word here. Uh, we need to pull back our... Okay, we're going to get caught there. Can I scorch Earth here? What time do you get here? 21st, 20... Okay, we're not going to get out. Uh, do I still want to try Scorched Earth? Let's try it. Yeah, whatever. We're going to lose this war battle here. We should live, though. There we go. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we should have this war pretty much handled now. There's not a lot of forts left. There's this one, like, four forts in Poland. Uh, not kind of the ones con currently getting sieged. And then it just comes to Brandenburg, who is also, I think, in a war against Denmark. So they're distracted. Uh, shouldn't be a problem here. And then if we can get a war on Hungary going, we'll be looking really great here. Uh, France and also the ones to access. So uh, we're going to let this play out. I'll get my truce here. The coalition is going to be massive, but we can finesse it um, and just not have too much problems here, hopefully. So I'll see you guys once we can get out of this war. All right. Um, we can actually get out of the war right now. We're 87 reasons. I'm not going to wait to siege up Brandenburg. The thought process here is I want to get improved as fast as possible uh, before our ruler dies. Because if our ruler bites the dust, then uh, we are in trouble. 
we were in very big trouble because we'll lose uh, these PUs. So we're going to go ahead and pull back both of our diplomats here. I want them free to start improving with Poland and Lithuania. We're going to declare 300 ducats for us. We now get PUs over both these guys. And bam, bam, we probably have more. Uh, yeah, look at these. Look how, look how un unloyal they are. Disloyal. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to immediately go ahead and take strong duchies. We can get that back for some bonuses here. We'll get the, another monopoly. Why not? Um, and this should all be fine. We're not going to annex any of those guys. Okay, so these guys are now in a PU under us. They don't like us. Uh, that's to be expected. So we're just going to improve with Poland and we're going to improve Lithuania. Uh, Poland's no longer a great power. We've lost an alliance with somebody. Muscovy. We lost it with Muscovy. Okay. You hate us. Yeah, you want some of our land. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to go all the way out that far east, um, but that's still good. We can go ahead and get this, which gives us permanent claims and some other stuff um, on this region over here, which we have most of. Uh, how close are we to doing this? Eight reasons for France not to get involved. If I could just improve with you a little bit more, hopefully I can get you to like me and we can uh, finesse something like this. I can invest in a tech. We're going to hold off on that. That's not going to happen right now. I want to improve with... Pull back from Hungary and do it with Poland. 24th of December here. 24th of December. Improve. There we go. And we should be able to have more troops now. Oh, no. We're actually exactly at force limit. Okay. What can we do to make these guys like us more? Lithuania's almost there. If I pay one ducat, I can get Lithuania on our side. That sounds good. 20% reasons for you. It's mainly just opinion, right? 40% 40, 40 of opinion. So uh, give enough time and we should be fine with these guys. We're getting 11 per year. We sacked a city, which is not good. Rest expansion, neighboring heretic religion. Because I convert you. You'd have to be positive opinion for me to actually convert you. So if I pay off your debt... Okay, that's just unapproved. Okay, we're going to need to convert them to Hussite pretty soon. Um, and we'll have to deal with their rebels. And we're just going to have a full Hussite region over here. You can see we've started converting... Um, things are going pretty well. And now we're just got to really eye up this number here. And if that ever goes below zero, or zero or above, we are, uh, or below, I should say, uh, we're going to jump on that as fast as possible. We're actually behind on Diplo Tech. We could take the tech for... Do we take it? Colonial range, naval morale. We'll just fall behind. I don't need the innovativeness that much. I'd rather keep my diplomatic points up because I need to use it for one of our missions, so we will not take the tech early. Um, but now we're just waiting. Next war is on the way. Our, we can see we could have a coalition of some nations here. Uh, most of these guys are at war, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, but what we're going to do for now is we're going to drop the religious unity and tolerance of heretics. We are instead going to go for the bonus improved relations. And that's going to help us get rid of some of their opinions pretty fast. All right, time is now. Hungary has joined the coalition against us, but they also are not getting supported by any of their allies. Denmark and France are not involved. We can call Burgundy in. We can maybe force some other stuff to go in our favor here. But let's go ahead and take the Conquer and Egypt tradition. We're just going to stack the AE here and get it all out of our system right now. So let's go ahead and get the pacifism uh, edict gone. Let a month tick. That way I don't get any bad things happening to us. We're going to go and declare on Hungary. Restoration unit. We're going to call in Burgundy because why not? Um, we can, so we might as well. Uh, Lithuania already likes us enough where we don't have to improve relations with them right now. So we're going to go ahead and just do this right now. Declare. March into Pest. How many units are you repping? 20. So, okay, so we'll have uh, the smaller army. Will the smaller army take Pest? We'll have the larger army just available. We can get another idea. We'll hold off because we're getting close to our next idea group. I want to immediately go and get um, the pacifist thing back just for the improved relations. It'll help us with the other guys. And now we have Humiliate Austria, which gives us a, a interesting. Is Austria no longer a great power? They've fallen off the great power list. Okay, that's good for us. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's get our one diplomat free, and we're going to have him go ahead and improve with own subject countries. That will help with the other two, um, since we can no longer improve with Hungary. We're going to go back, back and curry favors again with Burgundy. We want to get that last 10 trust um, in some way, shape, or form. So let's go ahead and curry favors. Bam. 
And this should be a pretty open and shut war here. I don't think Hungary can really stand up to us with our, our good general. Poland and Lithuania will deal with everything that's happening up north, whether they want to or not. Um, so we can just get a quick little fight here and see how our army does against them. They are tech six. We are tech six. Could go tech seven. Don't care, though. And that should be that army shattered. Bam. And we'll just we'll kind of chase these guys out of here. Um, and hopefully try to get a stack web on these guys as fast as possible. But this should be an easy war for us. We just outnumbered them massively. It also takes apart our coalition here. Uh, though we will probably get one. Let's see what the, what it looks like whenever we're going to do this peace deal here. So Union with Hungary is going to force a quite large coalition. But a lot of that's going to tick down over time. You can see the bottom like half are all really close ticking down. So we'll just have to do this. And yeah, we'll, we'll we'll deal with it. Let's go and pull back from our curry favors here now to think about it. And we're just going to improve with outrage countries. Uh, just because I know we're going to have a lot of those. So uh, yeah, we'll fight the war. And then we'll see what we can do about the coalition. But it should be pretty open and shut uh, as long as these guys up here get dealt with. Quick war check-in. It's just now the turn of the year into 1479. We've taken all of Hungary's forts. We're kind of just holding uh, the land here. I'm hoping to take all of the things for Wolgast and Stettin over here, as well as uh, the Teutonic Order. That way we can convert all of them to our religion. Uh, that will also help us uh, get our you know, Defender of the Faith access up here. Right now we are sitting at Tier 1, and if we get those guys, we'll be Tier 2. Uh, which will give us probably some bonus to morale of armies, which will be really helpful for us. But it's going to take some time. Our coalition is still pretty massive if we do this. If I stay in here for another one or two years, we can see it become super manageable. You can see a lot of the guys are at 53, 54 reasons. So two years and those guys will be out. Anyone who's 60 or above is going to kind of get stuck in there and we'll have to deal with it. Uh, but we're hoping helping get that around with our 20% improved relations. Then you have another 50% from our church ideas. Well, we're doing fine. Uh, just a matter of time until those guys all get brought away. Um, I hope... Where'd, uh, where'd these guys go? Oh, they're coming down to deal with these guys over here. Uh, we'll start carpet sieging. I don't want to fully uh, beat up Hungary. Uh, the reason being, I don't want them to uh, unconditionally surrender just yet. We'll keep them around for now. Looks like Poland actually is getting involved. Why are you doing that? You're not, you're not loyal. You shouldn't be doing that. I mean, I won't say no to it, but you shouldn't uh, be over there. Uh, we're going to do diplomatic ideas. I like the diplomats. I like the diplomatic annexation cost. I like the province forcer cost. I like the I like everything about diplomatic ideas. Uh, it's really good for us. We are really ahead of military, so that could be a good place to go. Uh, but diplomatic ideas will just help us. The other one is influence ideas could be really good here. Liberty desire for diplomatic reps, envoy travel time, vassal force limit. It's... We'll do diplomatic ideas first, just because I want to try to keep getting PUs. Um, we should be in the area. How is 45 and 48? So we still have opportunities to get something to happen over here with Charles de Bourgogne. Uh, so that's progressing, but it's just a matter of time to siege up these guys, and we'll be able to get out of this war and fight a coalition. So we'll see how that goes. I forgot this was a coalition war. We can't actually separate piece any of these guys because it's coalition. So I'm in the war for nothing at the moment. Other than to get my coalition down, right? Which is a worthy goal in and of itself. Can I convert anybody else through this? I cannot. Okay. Um, we'll wait a couple more years in this. So um, we'll just kind of let the AI fight it for us, seeing that we're now out of it. I thought you could. I guess not. But anyway, we're going to get out of this war pretty fast. I'm going to wait a couple more years just to get rid of that monthly ticks or the uh, end of the year ticks for improved relations to get down. And we'll be out of here uh, pretty fast. We need to kill those guys. Okay, Poland taking care of it. Good, 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 good. Poland is still 100 reasons from being uh, loyal. That's scary. I'm concerned. Um, okay. We did get some more diplomats from our uh, idea groups, which is why we are able to improve relations a little bit faster. Our nobility really love us. 98% loyalty. Friend Hungary's rival. Uh, I'd rather build a workshop in one of our provinces. Sure, let's build that. Get that built. Um, but yeah, just gonna wait for AE to tick down and we should be able to get out of here real fast. We could do it now, but problems occur if we do it now. A lot of problems. Alternatively, I think we just do it. Let's do it. 
yeah, let's do it. Uh, the thought process here being that if we do it now, I can get improved relations with him faster. I'm again worried about how old our monarch is. He's 56. He could die any day. If he dies now, we lose some of our vassals, which is not what we want. Uh, of course, that's definitely the opposite of anything that we want here. But if we get them in a spot where they actually like us, we could finesse it. We already had some improved relations. We're at 54. Uh, we'll need to get some more here. 22nd of February. Coast is going to grow. It'll be, it'll be fine. We'll deal with it. No one's going to attack us because we have the Ottomans, Sweden, Poland, Lithuania, Burgundy, you name it. They're all on our side. Um, everyone except for France. If we get France on our side, we are basically unkillable. Uh, but we're going to sit here, stabilize, uh, do some things with our estates, it seems. Because we can almost seize land. And we should not be able to do Hungarian Union. So we get a permanent claim on Austria proper. Uh, we could do the Humiliate Hungary, but we're not going to fight Burgundy or Brandenburg right now. That would just be, be a poor choice. It would be a poor choice, to say the least. Protect against the Turks. We need to have a larger... Oh, forts over here. Okay. 50% of their Ottoman strengths, and we get claims on them. So this is where we can start to actually fight the Ottomans back. Uh, here's some reforms, which needs to have accounting workshop, 20 development. So this is actually 15 development. We can get that close to 20 pretty soon here. Forgot I had this. Let's go ahead and just do... And then that'll get that done, right? And that should knock out Rudahori. Capital needs to have a cathedral or a university. That's easy. Uh, manufacture, manufacturing. Production efficiency. That'll get done eventually. Uh, this requires reformed. This one will go through fast. Faith's Bastion we can get as soon as that happens. Highest value trade note in the world. Okay. And this is all emperor stuff that we have to do whenever we have the reform. So we're kind of going along. We have all of Eastern Europe. Uh, that's quite nice. And these guys also fall under them as Hungary. I think you had, you have Ducal Prussia, right? Yeah, so that's all under you. Uh, you have claims on Livonia. So we can start doing a ton of wars over here. If I get Sweden on my side, we basically have a huge power block set up here. Now it's just playing the diplomatic game with people like Brandenburg, who are actually not too bad from hating us. Okay, anyways, I'm going to stabilize, and I'll bring you guys back either when we have the coalition pop or we're good to go. So we'll see. All right, we're back, and I thought I'd do a quick little check-in to see how we're doing as far as the coalition. It's starting to break up. We're having some of our nations leave. We've also just had Austria support independence for Poland. Uh, so I'm going to have to deal with that real quick. Um, that'll be pretty easy to do. Once our coalition's gone, I'll just attack them for the uh, humiliate Austria. We have some claims on them. I can take the land. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. They are, you know, in the alliance, which is why we can't do it right now. Uh, but that's progressing, right? I don't think Poland will ever declare that war, not while we have the Ottomans on our side, and they won't have any allies as long as we don't piss off Hungary, uh, which I do still need to convert. I need to convert these guys to our religion. I was getting real close to Poland. They were at like 74, and I was going to turn on support loyalists um, in order to get them below 50%. Uh, but that changed, so unfortunate. Um, but we're getting close to converting Hungary to our religion, which would be really, really good for us. We do need to get them... I'm worried that them going above 50% will make Poland ally them, which is going to be bad for us. So at least we also can get Silly on our side as a vassal. Uh, I, I allied them to get them as a vassal, because why not? It's free. Uh, free expansion, always good. Uh, we'll divert trade and do all that stuff with them, and they should be uh, fine there. Ooh, Silly. Uh, is there anyone else we can actually pull into our sphere? That'd be actually kind of quite cool if we could. Offer for vassal solution, Theodoro would... You're not too far away from us. I, I always love Theodoro, having them around. They don't have a mission tree, though. Does still have a mission tree? Oh, this is a crime against humanity. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, but we do have the other subjects, mission trees, that we could actually work work towards. I have to go and look at these. I don't know what all they do. Like, there's protect against Hungary for Poland, which we obviously can't do since, you know, they conflict. But we can see how far we can get here. I know Hungary has some missions to take the Ottoman lands, so maybe I could do that. Uh, maybe Byzantium still exists some down, down here. Anyway, but once we get rid of this coalition, we can get rid of the Ottomans. We can do our empire expansion stuff. And I think I'm going to start... Well, maybe not now. 
Uh, but soon, when we have the Reformation spawn, I'm going to swap over to Cat Protestant, and it's going to be just a, a mission to start converting things to Protestant. Uh, we've, we've taken Hussite pretty far, uh, but we do want to become Protestant eventually, because I just like Protestant more, and if we want to do all the, the fun uh, Byzantium, not Byzantium, uh, Bohemian stuff, then you kind of need to become Protestant. Um, we're getting close to actually getting uh, the achievement that we we're going for. We just need another 10% ground land, and we'll have it, so that's pretty easy. I don't know why I didn't have this before. I guess I always end up using sale of titles, but we'll get that done. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see maybe these last couple years here, uh, see if I can get rid of the coalition and if we can maybe do another war before uh, 1500 comes around, but we shall see. We shall see. All right, so good tidings. Um, we have uh, inherited uh, bo bo Burgundy. Uh, we got the Burgundy inheritance. That's all great for us. Um, woo. Woo. Uh, so they're now part of our, our little realm over here. Um, I think we might get full inheritance over here. So what does this say? Demand loan, dependence, press our claim. Uh, you better, you better fucking ban the claim. Ain't no way. I'm gonna, I'll fight you for this. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Um, but anyway, we have the Burgundy inheritance firing for us. That's really good, actually. Can I actually force Burgundy? Uh, enforce religion. Thank you. Welcome to our, our culture. I also forced the religion of Hungary. That's why they are a little bit disloyal. Um, let's go ahead and, and do support loyalists on them. Just, well, we'll wait. There's no reason to pay it when they're that high. Um, but everyone except Poland is now loyal. I'm thinking uh, what we'll do now is that our coalition is almost gone. In fact, our coalition is gone. Goodbye, coalition. Uh, but my goal now is to do a couple things. First and foremost, I want to turn off pacifism. Uh, let's go ahead and get back on the Tolerance of Heretics. Well, not Tolerance of Heretics. Let's do... Let's do the War Score cost versus other religions here. Um, I need to break the stranglehold that Austria and Venice have on my subject nation of Poland. And so what I'm going to do... One is I'm going to wait and see how this plays out with Austria. They might declare, decide to attack us, uh, which is going to be a concern. Uh, but if they don't attack us, what we're going to do... Burgundy's... Oh, uh, yeah. We're okay. We're going to attack Venice. Uh, we have a claim for Hungary on one of their lands. That will break their uh, thing with Poland here, right? And then we're going to do the same thing with Austria for Austria proper. We'll take their lands here. Maybe we even give something back to Silly. Hello. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll uh, break Austria's support against Poland. And then we can get Poland to be loyal and we'll be all good. We aren't, aren't going to risk losing anybody. As long as our prestige is positive, we won't lose any of our subjects here. So that's all good. Um, we have eight years left, and let's kind of see what happens. These are Hussite Zealots, so that's a good thing for us if they pop. So I'm not going to do anything here. Are they converting these provinces to Hussite? I think they are. Let's let them see them what they do. They probably will get swashed by that 25 stack there. Yep. Um, anyways, I'm going to play out and see how this, uh, Imperial thing happens. If it goes in our favor, um, great. If it doesn't, oh well. Um, but I will fight Austria if it needs to be, because I'm not going to give up my land over here. This is good land for us. Uh, but I'll bring you guys back once we know if we're fighting uh, the Emperor. All right, we should get to see what the outcome of this Imperial event is real soon. We also got this event for the Vladislaw Hall that gives us 50 prestige. So we're very prestigious. Go us. Um, but let's see. It says it's going to expire in the sixth month of the year. So it should be next month or the month after. What do they go for? They demanded the lowlands. Did we? Did they give them the lowlands? I saw Brabant. Did Brabant? Did they just go Brabant? Ah, okay. Uh, no. Cool. Are we defending? We're attacking. No, we're defending. Okay, Austria. Uh, good luck. Um, I'm gonna just. Oh, everything is free. Everything I want to take is free here. Um, well, thanks for feeding me your lands. I appreciate you. We're going to take all of Inner Austria here. Um, that's going to cause us to get our coalition again. Uh, but... Yeah, you just committed seppuku for the sake of your Imperial form, so... Uh, take that, I guess. But that's going to be Austria out. That means... Bohemia or Poland should be pretty close to having you no know, support independence. We just got to get rid of Venice here, uh, which is no longer my rival. So hopefully they will stop doing what they're doing. 
In fact, I could support their independence, so... Whatever. I will fight off Austria. Let's go ahead and just go speed four and do the first couple years of the war here. You have 40k troops, 50k manpower, but we have the Ottomans, Sweden, Burgundy. Yeah, it should be a stump. Our numbers are immense, and you should not be able to. Do you have support independence still? You do, even though we are at war. Okay. Um, I'm going to support loyalists from Hungary just to see if they will actually be on our side here. So if I actually do this, if I ally you, will that break the treaty as well? Can you still support the independence of my subject while you're my ally? I feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. So we'll see about that whenever we get out of this war. But uh, this is all going fine. Uh, I don't think Austria will continue us anymore, so I'm just going to siege stuff down, and I'll bring you guys back once uh, either we have a big battle or the war just goes our way. So they have a war goal somewhere. Where's the war goal real quick? Jonas, which is the capital of them, which does not have a fort, so we'll have to get over there. But that's doable. Anywho, I'll bring you guys back. All right. Um, the war has progressed far enough, and we can now actually start busing people out. So we're going to go and convert people to Hussite. First off is Ferrara. They are gone. They are now Hussite. We are seizing Salzburg. And then we have Baden over here somewhere um, who is getting absolutely obliterated. Um, but we can convert them as well. We're going to take their war reps, take their transfer trade. Everything should be good. We have one province that got besieged by land shoots. We're kind of waiting for land shoot to get out of their little unification war uh, between them and Munich. Is Munich sieged? Their colors are so similar for me. Yeah, but Munich's full siege. They should get out of this war. Hopefully you will peace out Austria. I thought... Oh, wow. Imagine being a land shoot going to that war. Fighting Austria be like, we're going to die. And then all of a sudden you have this horde just run down your war enemy. This is... Like, as far as provinces wise, this is the size of the HRE just marching in to deal with your one problem in the war. Uh, must be nice to be them. You know, we're just kind of chilling here. We're going to go back and drill our armies. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for things to time out. We won't take too much here. You can see Austria is having some death thralls here, but you can see the the horde. Like This is, this is before we even become emperor. We could have the vassal swarm of the HRE this game. And it's kind of a shame because like technically our achievement, right, the next time I click this button, as in like I could do it this year if I wasn't at war, we'd have the achievement done. But I kind of want to keep playing. I really do like Bohemian. I haven't played Bohemian games. So we might go and go for the Dublin achievement. Maybe we go for some HRE related stuff. I'm going to play this out um, just because I, I don't get to play Bohemia too often. And it's this is probably the last achievement I think I have for Bohemia. Um, this one, the Dublin one. I don't think I could form Greater Moravia. Yeah, so. We're going to go for a Protestant empire and maybe try to form the HRE here, which should be fun. So uh, we'll play this one out. Maybe get some shenanigans going on. Maybe we'll try to do some culture change stuff. Uh, I could maybe culture shift because we're not in game tag. We could do some. I'll, I'll look and see. I'll see. Um, but we're going to play that this war. We have five years left until the end of the video. And uh, hopefully we can get everything out before then. I think, you know, with these two sieges finishing up, we should be right there. So I'll, I'll white piece these guys. Land shoot looks like they took some land. So we're going to have to probably kill land shoot. Um, but yeah, there goes Baden. Let's knock you out. Goodbye, Baden. Welcome to, uh, Hussite. And then we need to just do the same thing with Salzburg and we'll be all fine here. So let's go ahead and keep drilling. Uh, drill, drill. Uh, everyone else is fine. I still have to just pay for Hungary to like me. Uh, Poland is still Catholic, so they're not doing too hot. Um, but that's because... Why do you dislike me? Uh, relative barring power and support of Venice together. So uh, here's the good test for this. Come on, please get the siege done. Speed five. That was our mercantilism. 38 mercantilism, so we can still... Oh, I can upgrade this. Institution spread. And idea... Oh, I like institution spread. We'll do it. Why not? Come on, give me this. All right, there's Salzburg. Knock out Salzburg. Get him out. Yay. Um, we are going to... So here's our peace deal. We are going to take all of the lands we have claims on. We're going to take some land and give it to our subject. Uh, this is going to cause a coalition to form again. But we weren't worried about this last time. I don't know why I'd be worried about it this time. We're going to do it. Uh, give me a claim. 
Bam. Um, can I do the alliance with you? Okay, let's see. Oh, we have to like you more. Claim guarantee. Oh, we have new ruler. We didn't lose... Okay, let's double check. We didn't lose anything. Everyone's still here. Poland, Lithuania, Hungary, Sidley, Burgundy. Great. I like how we have the elected monarch. We can just keep changing stuff. So our current heir is 351. This is a 245. Or the 444. So that's 12. That is 11. Our current guy has 9. Um, just, just uh, do this ability again. No. The Heretic King. Um, we are not going to bend the knee. Stay true to Christ. Uh, Hustite rule until the death of the guy. Dramatic Catholic nations may use the cleansing of heresy. Okay. They acquiesced. The Pope Papacy has chosen to abstain from condemning our new king despite our adherence to the Hussite movement. Bam. We uh, did not get anything bad happening there. Uh, we're at peace. What am I doing? Uh, let's do... Oh, I didn't... Uh, we lost some crown land there. So I can actually get my claim down. We'll get all those cored. We'll probably get unlawful territoried. Um, you're still disloyal. I right, real quick... Let's see. We have this. We need to have positive opinion of you. Okay. Uh, why do I hate you? Supporting the independence of our subject. Hmm. Yikes. Covert action, heretic religion. Can I? Okay, whatever. We're going to stop our guarantee. We'll have to declare war with them. Uh, can I not do it? Real guarantee. There we go. Okay, we'll have to fight Venice or attack one of their subjects. Maybe we attack Florence. Can we have a claim on Florence in any way? Whatever. Uh, they're going to block us from getting Poland peaceful. But we have to eat time to get that done. Anyways, uh, I'll play out the last four years. Don't think we're going to be doing anything now that we have Austria proper. Uh, we're just waiting for the coalition that's definitely going to spring up to go down again. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, please like me more button called pacifism. We're going to keep improving relations. Everything should be fine here. This has been converted, I guess. But uh, we'll wait out the last four years, and then we'll end the episode. So I just did some uh, development clicks because I was almost the monarch cap, and I actually completed <laughs> checks and balances. So that's a really easy achievement to get, but we got that one done. Um, I guess I'll have to call this series something else. I don't want to have, like, a five-episode series where the first episode is us completing the goal. So we have checks and balances now. I could go on to the next one, but we're going to roll this into, and we'll do the... Um, the Dublin one, where we need to get claims over there. Um, otherwise, things are going well. We have three years left. Um, things look fine. Poland's still disloyal. We can't really stop that, because they have all the, the bonus from uh, uh, Poland and Venice being aligned, even though Venice no longer wants to support their independence, like they wouldn't if I could just attack them. Um, but I can't actually ally them, because they have covert actions against us, so... If those go away, I guess we could swing it, but we can't get the alliance. We're just going to declare war on them whenever our truce is up, which is in... I guess we'll chose for our side. Uh, four years, so we'll attack Venice the first thing in the next episode. I think this, this one's going to go fine. For now, I'm, I'm just going to be out for here. I don't think anything's going to happen. Right now, what we're doing is we're uh, trying to knock out some other achievements. There's achievements for having 100% um, spy network efficiency with three of your rivals, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going for networking. Uh, currently, Muscovy's really high, and England is, and we'll see about Kazan. Um, so I'll try to get that achievement done. Other than that, I guess we'll kind of see where else we can go. Maybe there's some stuff here that I can sneak, like maybe we go for Japan or something and try to knock that out, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, for now, I'm Klaus here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Poland. No, not Poland. Oh, my God. It's a bad day for, for me speaking. I'm, I'm just not on top of it as far as uh, my words and forming them into cohesive sentences. Not my strong suit today. But um, we're going to keep playing through here. We'll enjoy Bohemia. Just go down the mission tree. Maybe try to form HRE. Have, have a, a fun little EU Ford uh, campaign here. This will bridge the gap between now and whenever the Vicky DLC comes out next month. So that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how I can do better. And uh, I'll catch you next one. Later.